basically anything out of plaster that we can do, whether it's got sculpting in it or whatever you want to do, we can do with it. I, um, I got Max Killer's gonna do a little video. Again, I'm picking up some corners for uh, one of our own jobs and he's showing us what he's working on at the moment. We've got all sorts of pieces around and he's going to show us what's, uh, what's keeping him busy. Hmm. Well, to give you an idea, guys, what we're doing at the moment, we're doing a lot of uh, a job we're doing at, at Hedges Avenue. It's a lot of ceiling in there. It's all curved. There's about a thousand metres of curved ceiling. Every piece is different. Uh, we're making about 400 odd, 2450 moulds and castings and what that means is we get the styrene that's it's actually all CNC cut and shaped and then we're pulling out pieces like this which is a curved section that's got the um, uh, a light trough in it that gets integrated with your air conditioning uh, up in this area but to give you an idea of it it's on the back of it's got steel so all the steel is all geared up where it suspends so it's all wadded so there's no framing required. But the good thing with what we can do with this is we can put recesses on all four sides. So if you ever look down here, it's got a recess on that there. It's got a recess there and a recess. So we can recess any side you like, which is easier to install, butting it up and installing. And these things go up quite good. And the great thing with fibrous plaster is that you can actually uh, take it out. You can shape it, you can sand it. It's not like you've got the cardboard over it where you can't do much with it. Um, you don't need to necessarily tape for as long as you back block it, mud it up, you don't need to really tape it, but we do the recesses like this because we make it easier for all, all the newcomers uh, that used to using having a recess and taping and so forth. So that just gives you the idea of what they are. Um, as you can see, these are some of these are joined up, but they're all sort of contoured and whatnot. And what we do with them is, to give you an idea over here, this is Darren. And uh, he's prepping one of these moulds up now. This is quite an easy mould, this one, very simple mould. And he's prepping that up now. That's all been plastered up. It is a bit uh, fragile on the face, so you've got to be careful you don't push it with your fingers. And then we put a recess around the edges of it. That which makes the recess. That yeah. makes our recess. That's how that works. But other stuff we're doing as well, I'll give you a look down here. Hey, right, guys. Uh, we're doing here, Jason. We're just showing what we're doing here, and Jason will sort of talk you through what he does with making the templates and so forth. At the moment, just making up um, the CP16 template to make a curved wall around a stairwell. And uh, the process is of getting the tin and cutting it up to the same um, shape and profile of the corners. Uh, and building the, um, the, the stop, then we uh, mark the wall on and this has to be an internal um, cast, so make an external mould yeah. and on our wall we have to make sure that that's following the, the line of the curve and once we've got the mould we make the cast and then it goes off to the site to that's be good. put up. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to show how that, that's just carving the plaster out. So we'd actually carve yeah. the shape yeah. out of the plaster yeah. to create our shape. Yeah. Before we do that, we'd make a, uh, another coat that's a bit bigger than that, yeah. and then uh, put styrene or, or uh, old plaster bits and something just to bulk it up before we- And then we, work it down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we yeah. just want a, um, like a 10 mil um, face yeah. laid over it. Yeah. Yeah. So you make it all nice and smooth. Yeah. It actually comes up, um, like polishing it with water, it comes up like glassy, like yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Thing. Yep. So that's what we're doing there. Other thing we're doing over here is you'll see Xavier with a large corbel tornus out here. Uh, Xavier, just got to uh, do a bit of filming at the moment. If you guys want to see what you're doing over here. This is a large, a large corbel corner smile that we're doing. It's difficult to cast these ones, but it's got the corbels and all in it, all in, 
all in one piece. So um, we've made the mould so it comes out a fiberglass mould quite well. So it gives you an idea of what that's all about. It's, it's funny with this stuff here. We're yeah, actually so doing... Good, hey. We're actually doing this stuff, believe it or not, in GRC. It's all gone down the coast already, but to give you an idea of it, I'll give you a look at the, so this is plaster, but the yep. GRC ones are over here. This piece here is a reject piece, but if you have a look at that, that's actually GRC. Um, we don't, that's not a saddle piece, but all the good stuff's gone out, but that just gives you an idea of that is concrete. You can't scratch that, that is hard as. So, uh, so good for exteriors? Exter all, yeah. We're doing a job up the north coast which is all exterior work and yeah. all this is going on the outside. There's a mile of GRC and curves yeah. going around there, this corner, the other ones. And we've also made uh, big mouldings like this that curve all the way around but they've already gone out onto site the other day. There's another little job we're doing down here, I'll just give you a look at what uh, Aaron's doing. Excuse me there mate, just approach you for a sec. Aaron's is doing a job at the moment which we're doing uh, for a customer. This is all designed to what they want. It's got this little uh, a moulding here and doing a mould. That'll be a rubber mould and then we'll be producing this. So uh, that's... So you're making this once, then turning it into rubber? Yeah, this, yes. Yeah. So this is actually the model work. Yeah. And then from there, that's going to be the piece you're going to get once it's up. Yeah. But we're just, a, that's, a, that's the piece we're doing now. And then we'll make all rubber out of that mold. There'll be a rubber mold. Yep. And then basically that's it. So this is a part of a job we're doing. Actually for Clyde Palmer. It's part of the job we're doing for Clyde Palmer in a, in a job. Most of the other stuff's gone out. We had to do curved, doorbell cornices and a whole host of different things there. So basically, anything out of plaster we can do whether it's got sculpting in it or whatever you want to do, we can do. We just finished one there last week for another company. It's actually, again, I don't have the corners for you here because it's already gone out, but the mould is over here. Yeah, this was just a big plain mould. What we do with these ones, we're doing a job down the coast and instead of actually building a curved wall on an internal of a house where you've got to frame it, bend the board around it, we make these already to the radius. They extend straight up, they've got a recess on on both sides, you set them in and you've got a perfect finish. You don't need the framing behind. So by the time you frame up, you can put the board around there, there's variances with it, you're not going to get as good of a finish. Yeah. Whereas this being fibrous, you can actually mould it, you don't need the framing behind it. Yeah. Now again, if it's going to be a large radius, which we're doing a lot of stuff for the Queen's Wharf actually too, which has got a huge amount of curtain wall in it, then we'll do the same as this but we'll probably cut that out of, uh, there's a few ways we'll do it out of style, maybe out of, um, maybe we'll laser cut out of timber to build our mould, uh, put flexible plastic in it, which is a high polished plastic, yeah. and then we'll cast cast that that way. So they're just, and that'll be the same thing, that'll have a frame behind if you wanted, you could actually wad, if it's large, we'll wad that in the back of it, yeah. so you can still fix it but you don't need the frame behind there. So you don't need flexi track and all the other stuff to go with it and all your studs at every 200. Yeah. You eliminate that, that just goes straight in. So we're doing a lot of that sort of thing. That's just another piece there we're doing. Um, even a piece like this. Uh, to give you an idea, this one here, um, I can actually take it out and give you a look of what this is all about. So this is, another mould we're doing for hedges and the good thing with the styrene is that the styrene acts as a packaging so when you when this goes out on site it stays in the styrene it doesn't distort its shape yeah. which is a critical thing and it's also protects the face so we can ship these around on site whatnot they stay in their shape um, and the whole lot but just to give you an idea of how this sort of comes out so you take it out of the mould and then you've got a, a piece of plaster then that's actually goes up, goes up like this actually, goes up like that. So give you an idea, that's a contoured piece of plaster. 
that's specialised for a job there. As you can see, it curves back on itself here and that way there. So it is a, it is a complex little piece, but that joins another piece. So um, because it's all, um, this stuff is all actually 3D um, uh, designed, we've, we can control the shape. So all the shape gets controlled. Whereas without that, wouldn't it wouldn't. So that just gives you an idea of what that's all about. Put that back in the mail so it stays in good order and condition. That's it. Um, this one here, as you can see, it's got the, and I won't take the mould out because it's probably too much around, but this, this here's got a box built into it, into this part here, so the aircon gets recessed up into that box. So the aircon, you don't see the aircon. Yeah. The wheel goes into there, they, they cut that out and it slides up into it. It's a nice, neat finish. Yeah. It gets it nice, hey? It does get it good, yeah. Well, it all comes to the finish of what you do with, the, um, with this here. Obviously, we need we need good plasters that can get a good finish on the styrene, uh, which is um, which is a critical thing. It's only it's only as good as what you can do here. But the good thing with this is that if we want to take it out of the mould, we need to patch it up or clean it. We can clean it because fibrous plaster will polish. You can actually yeah. put a knife over fibrous plaster and polish it. Yeah. Any little bumps will come out of it, you know. So very user friendly product plaster. This is another one we're doing here. That there is a uh, that there is a rubber mould, and that's a whole design. And what that is is designed. It was all cut out of styrene, yep. and then we basically. Oh, I think it's all been all the mould works gone to the dump. That's what it is. All right, all right. But we actually got that cut out of styrene. It come on this, and it was all that was what it was. Yep. We plastered all that to get rid of all the bumps in it, and then we get that, which is nice, smooth finish rubber, and that's. That's a one of a kind, like that's just... Um, you can make, you know those um, rubber buckets that you can knock out yep. plaster with? You know, just a bucket liner? Yeah. You can make them for me, right? You could, yeah, you probably could, you you're dead right. Them together? Yeah. They're hard to get. I only know one, you know, mob that makes them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is perfect for it, eh? It is, it's the ideal stuff. You can, you can certainly make a rubber liner for it, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that just gives you an idea of what that is. That's just your backing, that's just a fiberglass backing to hold the shape yeah and that just rub it up you know how many um casts will this do the biggest thing while you're casting it you get plenty but when it sits in the factory and it gets knocked around in the factory you yeah. know yeah but uh if you're making it all the time you probably get 100 casts out of it yeah you know a lot of the stuff we do these days is all laser cut like uh cnc cut yeah to get our our um our model yeah. and then we from there we'll make our moulds and dress it up and do the how work. How much would it be to get a max kill cast about that size? Oh with max kill? Yeah. Oh yeah no problems at all. Um, uh, to get a, and to make a mould out of plaster, GRC or yeah. Yeah. we can do it out of GRC if you want. Yeah why not <laughs> because then you can use it inside. You're probably the looking at probably a couple of thousand bucks. Yeah? Yeah yeah yeah. 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 To make a max kill, your logo, all that. It and we nice hey? yep, yeah, we'd all in 3D, and then we could do it out of you know whatever size you want, yep. set size there. We could do that with Max Kill on it, and the idea with this to then do it out of GRC because it'll last forever. Yeah, as hard as you know, you can put it outside, whatever. Mm. The next thing we'll something we'll do in the future. Yeah, and the next thing we're looking at doing is uh, creating a, a patina look on it. Yeah, and uh, we've made a few little samples of, um, and also a concrete polished finish look like. We're casting this stuff now, which is like, this is concrete, give you an idea. To give you an idea, that there, that there is actually concrete. All right, so that there's actually concrete. All right, so, hard as, um, that's what that's all about. So we're just, we're getting into this sort of stuff. Then these, these come up sort of nice. We're just sort of still trialing a lot of stuff with this, but just gives you an idea, it's got the little recess it's got a recess on the side of it here as well. Yeah. Got a little recess, so when you butt them up together, you've got like a little V joint. Still yeah. not overly heavy. Not overly heavy. Uh, we try to keep them to a stage where they're not, they're not heavy, you know? Yeah. But the good thing with these is they can go outside. And we're looking at, you know, 
getting this better and whatnot. There's ghosting that comes here on that, on that um, mat that we use in there, but we, we've um, got another concept that we can make that disappear. We want to try to get these as a finished article. Yeah. So in other words, they could be in a matte black finish, yep. black all the way through it, and they can sort of be polished yep. from the mould. We polish the mould and cast off the mould that's polished surface. Because yep. the stuff we make here, whatever the mould is, it, it takes on the same finish. So uh, well, that's what that's all about. So you're really busy, hey? Yeah, yeah, a whole host of things we're doing all the time. Yeah, yeah, a lot of. Uh, uh, there's some moulds out there you can see out there drawing at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a lot, whole host of things. Yeah. A lot of work coming up and a lot of architectural work in the in the Queen's Wharf at the moment too, yeah. which is uh, an interesting job. We, oh, we yeah, like doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've got sort of these big curtain walls in there, and there's a whole host of things in there, but. Uh, we enjoy doing the the architectural stuff, you know. Yeah. Has there been more demand lately for that sort of thing? It has been actually, yeah. Yeah, I find there's been more demand. I think just in general, uh, the building trade's going pretty well at the moment. So. Yeah, and once you know, a new building gets built, people see like the standard and they think, oh, we need something that, like that in our foyer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so. that's right. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people don't look outside the box sometimes, yeah. whereas now they know that we can do a lot of uh, design work. So. Uh, we're doing a big job down the coast. It's got a whole heap of sort of moulds in that. Yeah. People seeing that say, so, oh, these guys can do this, but we want this done, so. Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much make anything people yeah, imagine. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm. We're doing that one, I had the mould here, I can't find the mould, but it's a beautiful looking corners. It's a 300 wide corners with this lattice type moulding in it. Yeah. That's for a shop that will be continued, I think, through a lot of, throughout Australia. Yeah. So they've made their own corners for their shop, but it does look fantastic. Nice. Yeah, so big business for you there. Yeah, that's another whole new mould made up from scratch, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's interesting work. Exciting. Oh, yeah. Well thanks Paul. We gotta bring no our back on us and get yeah. back to work. No worries, thanks buddy. I'll head back in the office. Yeah, thanks. Leave a link to Paul's business down below, Ornamental Corners. There it is, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. hey, thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks. And he bought it, but he's redesigning everything through the whole house, everything through the whole place. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, they're, they're all 10 mil thick, but they're a little bit sort of because they're so flat. Yeah. But it'd be easier for you to um, install it, at least. It's yeah. nice and light, easy to. I suppose we'll show you us installing it. Thank you. Till next time, Paul. Cheers. 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 Cheers.